Table view cells are the items that you use to display data in your table view. Table view cells are not optional, you need to present one. And by using a table view controller, you get one of these cells for free. But if you decide to use a regular table view, you'll have to provide one of your own. Now, thankfully, this is easy to do, as you'll see in the upcoming demo. Cells can have multiple different styles in iOS. For instance, you can have a cell with just text or text with an image next to it. Now, chances are you'll ultimately need to customize your cell for something different. And for this, you'll use what is known as a custom cell style. This allows you to drag controls onto it like a regular view controller. Ultimately, your table may, can, may contain hundreds if not thousands of rows of data. Remember, each row is backed by a table view a cell. So by extension, you might up ending having thousands of table view cells. Now, thankfully, iOS does not create new cells. Rather, it recycles them. The screen can only fit so many cells on it at one time. So when a table view cell is scrolled off the screen, that cell is actually recycled. This saves us time from creating and deleting cells. Now, a table view requires two things to display your cell. First, it needs to know how many rows to display. You need to provide the amount based on the section of the table view. You see, you can organize your table view by different sections. For instance, we may want to group our to-do list items uh, by priority, such as high priority items and low priority items. Starting out, we'll just use one section just so that it will be easier to understand. Table views also need to have a cell, so you'll provide them to the table view. To create a cell, you need a reuse identifier. As mentioned, a table view controller comes with one cell, but you can have many different styled cells in one table. To determine the difference between cells, you use this reuse identifier. This is a simple string which you can use to acquire your various cells. Now, to acquire a cell, you call a method dq reuse, reusable cell with identifier for index path. For this method, you pass in your reuse identifier. The method then returns a cell. If a cell is ready to be recycled, it will return it. Otherwise, it will create a new one for you. Okay, so what's an index path? Well, don't worry about it for now. You can just think of it as a location of the cell in the table. Okay, let's see all of this in action. When we last left off with our checklist app, we had just created a simple table view controller and it had a cell, but it really isn't displaying anything. So we're gonna change that now. We're also going to address this issue of a warning. So if you click on this warning sign, you can see it says prototype cells must have a reuse identifier. So we'll cover that as well. All right, so I'm gonna select my cell. And if you don't have this open, you just select the main dot storyboard file here. And you'll see here, that under my checklist view controller, I have a table view. So this table view controller has the table view and underneath this table view is a table view cell. So you add cells to your table view. Now a table view controller comes with its own cell. Well, why don't you select this table view cell and hold command and delete. And now you don't have anything. You just have an empty table view and that's not going to display anything. So what you need to do is add your own cell. To do that, just simply, click their object library. And you can see here, we have a cell already selected. You can type table as well. And you'll see I have table view cell and simply drag that out of here and drag it onto your table view. And voila, you have, we're exactly where we started from again. But this is important to know because when you create table views, these table views will come empty. So you'll need to drag on your own cell. Okay, now let's get to the issue of a reuse identifier. Remember that cells are recycled and we get our cells by way of a reuse identifier. That's how we determine what kind of cell it is. Now the reuse identifier is just a simple string. So I'm gonna select my table view cell here and it's, I believe it's in the attributes inspector here and you'll see we have this identifier and I'm just gonna call this checklist item with the C capitalized and the I capitalized. It's very important that you're consistent when creating these identifiers, because if you have a misspelling, what could happen is you won't be able to retrieve the cell. What I'd also like to do is to add a check mark. So when a user taps on the to-do item, I want a check mark to appear so that they know that they've completed an item. And you can see here with our attributes inspector open, you can see we have this accessory field here 
And in this drop down, just select that and you'll see we have all these various different accessories. Select check mark, and now you'll see that we have a check mark right on the cell. Okay, now I'm going to save this and I'm going to hit Command B to build it. And you'll notice when you do that, the warning goes away. Now, our table view controller still isn't displaying anything. We've configured a little bit about the cell, and the table view itself doesn't know how many cells to display. So let's go over to the checklist view controller here. And I'm going to scroll down here. And the way we tell a table view controller how many cells to display is by implementing a certain method. And the way you can implement this is just simply type table view. And now I'll write number of rows. And you can see it pops up here, number of rows in section. And I'll close this over here just so that you can see this. This passes in a table view and it passes in a section and we'll be working with sections later, but for now we're going to ignore it. And instead we're just going to return one cell. Now that's still not enough. We need to provide the actual cell. And the way we do that is again, we type table view and then simply write cell for row. And you can see down here, we have this cell for row at index path. This method is called every time a table view needs a cell. And it's in this method where we configure the cell to show certain kinds of data, whatever data we want. So let's create a cell now. So we just simply type let cell equals, and that's gonna be a variable. And we're gonna call a method on table view. And the method we're looking for is DQ reusable cell for index path like so. Now we're gonna pass in our identifier into this string right here. We'll just simply type checklist item. Now remember, this needs to match what you wrote in the main storyboard. So if we come over here and we select our cell, you can just simply copy that, Command C, come back over here and paste it. If this is misspelled, the table view won't be able to find the cell. And next, we're going to pass in this index path object. And you'll be learning about index paths later in this course. For now, think of it as a requirement for this method. Okay, we have our cell all ready to go. Now we can just simply return it. And that's it. Now let's build and run. and I'll make some space for the simulator here. And you'll see here, we have our table view and we have our cell. And if we tap it, nothing happens, but we have our cell and it's a beginning and every great app starts here.